Hi YouTube. I'm going to show you my Delta Max, Delta 2 Max. I can't get these names right. Uh, Delta 2 Max. Supposed to be pretty good. I'm doing a, a big freezer downstairs and my refrigerator. Uh, it's kind of a new refrigerator. It was excellent on, um, on how much watts it uses. My freezer is old and it uses a lot. So I did it just for a few hours to kill this. You gotta kill these uh, these eco flows. You gotta uh, kill them and recharge them from time to time. So um, so I brought it down to 19%. That's what it tells you is to bring it to 19%. Um, it says it can do it 19, 59 hours at 19%. But anyhow, I'm gonna charge it up to 100% and then we're gonna test the refrigerator and the freezer. So let's get this going. It is um, 637. It's 637 right now. We'll plug this in. Uh-huh. Don't see anything happening. <laughs> Oop, here we go. All right, and it's coming up. Input, 400, 500. 600, 700, 800, 900,000, 11, 12, 13, 14, you probably don't need me counting it because you can see it, but I'm counting anyhow. 15, I think it does 2,000 uh, watts um, when it charges, but we'll see. Anyhow, we'll see how fast this charges, and then uh, I'm going to hook up the freezer and the refrigerator, and we'll see how many hours this will go for. But I wanted to start it off at 100%, so we'll get it up to 100. I guess it charges about 1585. Well, okay. I'll see you when it's when it's fully charged. Okay, it's 8:03, and I am at 100%. So uh, 657 to 803, 57, uh, excuse me, uh, 837, 47, 57, so 20, 26. So an hour and 26 minutes brought it uh, from 19% to 100%. Now I'm going to plug in the refrigerator and the freezer and we'll see what happens. This is my freezer down in the basement. It's only a five cubic foot. It is a Kenmore, I think. So that tells you how old it is. Kenmore hasn't been around for a while. Uh, so it's not too efficient. But it works awful good. Uh, I usually have 50 or 60 hamburgers in there. I usually have about 10. Um, I usually have a, about 20 pounds of hamburger. Tons of roast, tons of pork chops, tons of chicken, tons of bread, pork roast, pork roast, and I usually try to keep around 25 to 30 chicken breasts, um, so I keep it pretty full, so I don't want this thing to go bad if we lose the power, um, so we'll see how many hours, but I run a cord, up the stairs, kind of a pain, but hopefully I don't lose my power that much. And into the back of the EcoFlow. All right, we'll see how many hours we get. Just showing you my refrigerator. It's a it's a big one. It's fairly new. Uh, I just bought it July of 2023, so it's very very efficient uh, on the on the EcoFlow. When this was running, it was only giving me 166 watts. My freezer was doing around um, two something. So combined, I was getting around 374 watts, which if I, I have two, two 400 watt solar panels, if each one gives me 300 watts, because you always lose some, uh, if each one gives me 300 watts, I could probably recharge some of that EcoFlow Delta 2 Max while I'm uh, running my freezer in my refrigerator. But anyhow, that's it's got the drawer underneath, and it's uh, 
it's a pretty good sized uh, refrigerator. So uh, we'll see how uh, how long we can do it. Okay, it's the next morning. It's ten twenty four. So we got um, we got fourteen hours. So we are at forty six. Uh, excuse me. We're at ten percent. My EcoFlow shuts off at ten percent. Now my refrigerator. There's no light, so it's shut off everything. So I, I was able to run it for fourteen hours. So I can. I have a whole house generator. I can start the whole house generator up, recharge this in an hour and a half, and uh, just run my whole house generator every every 14 hours. Uh, and when I run my whole house generator, I'll heat the house up with, with nice heat and everything. So that's not too bad. About three hours a day on my generator will give me heat and take care of all the refrigerators. So yeah, the EcoFlow is good. Bye.